Hi doctor, I wanted to speak to you about vaccinating little Jenny here for the flu. What's the point in vaccinating every year when there always seems to be a breakout? I've also heard a lot about how it can actually be harmful and was wondering if any of that was true. For sure, let's start with what the flu is. The flu is caused by the influenza virus that replicates in one's body causing irritation and symptoms. The influenza virus mutates every year resulting in strains which may be different than the previous ones. Each year the virus used to make the vaccine changes to protect you against the virus circulating that year. This is why we have to get vaccinated each year and why there could still be breakouts as well. Okay, but do vaccinations really protect us from the flu if they're mutating? Yes, they do. According to the Center for Disease Control in the United States, also referred to as the CDC, the flu vaccine reduces the risk of being infected by the flu by 40-60% to 60% in the overall population. As more people are vaccinated, the more protection everyone will have, not just the individuals who are vaccinated. This is what we refer to as herd immunity, where having a large non-susceptible population protects people who are still susceptible, because there are less hosts for the virus to use to propagate. If no one got the vaccine, the virus would be able to spread quickly among the population. The flu is extremely contagious as it can spread through the water droplets from sneezing or coughing or through contacting contaminated objects such as doorknobs and phones. Well, why do doctors make such a big deal over the flu? It's not a deadly disease, it's just a bit worse than a cold. Well, people who already have compromised immune systems from other diseases or from surgery are more susceptible to the effects of flu. Age is also a factor affecting immune system function with the elderly and children being susceptible to diseases. According to Stats Canada, there is an average of 12,200 hospitalizations due to the flu and 3,500 deaths from the flu each year. This definitely shows the flu that the flu can be dangerous. What exactly is in the vaccine? So the vaccine contains small amounts of the influenza virus that have been deactivated. Think of it as a preview for the actual virus. The virus in the vaccine will cause immune responses that will ultimately produce antibodies to fight pathogens with similar forms. The vaccine for the flu usually takes form of inactivated virus that has been modified to not being able to replicate itself, thus not being able to cause the actual flu. This way, when the real pathogen invades, our body will know how to fight it. However, it is still possible to get the flu after getting the vaccination. For one thing, our immune system takes a couple of weeks to create antibodies that will fight the infection. That is why we recommend to get vaccinated before the flu season hits. Moreover, making of vaccines are often a gamble as mutations are unpredictable and vaccines are to be made far prior to the possible outbreak. Other chemicals the vaccine contains include formaldehyde that can prevent contamination from external environments and aluminum salts that accelerate the antibody creating process. Oh, so that's why people can get the flu after getting the shot. But are all vaccines really safe? Every vaccine created has to follow the requirements set by Health Canada for safety, effectiveness and quality. Once these requirements are satisfied, the company can then produce and distribute the vaccine to the public. Before vaccines are submitted to Health Canada, they must show the safety and efficacy through results from clinical trials. Once the manufacturer has sufficient evidence, they can file for a new drug submission to the BGTD, the Biologics and Genetic Therapies Directory. The submission includes details about the manufacturing facility, the method of manufacture, and quality control. BGTD can also conduct an on-site evaluation. Batches of the vaccine are provided to the labs of BGTD for testing to ensure consistent, high-quality production. Once it is concluded that the benefits outweigh the risks, the vaccine is issued a notice of compliance and a drug identification number. Then the vaccine is authorized for sale in Canada. Are there any side effects of the vaccine? So some side effects from getting the flu vaccine include redness and soreness in the area of injection, as well as headaches and a small fever, although these two symptoms are uncommon. Blind studies have shown that there is no major difference between the individuals who receive the vaccine compared to receiving the placebo. The most common difference was soreness at the injection site, demonstrating that vaccines are perfectly safe and do not typically induce negative reactions. I've heard that people with egg allergies should avoid getting vaccinated. Is that true? So most vaccines are developed using egg-based technologies, which result in trace amounts of egg proteins being present in the vaccine, less than 0.1 microgram per 0.5 milliliter dose for flu shots. Thus, it is safe for the vast majority of individuals with egg allergies to get the flu shot. 
However, if you have never received a flu shot before and you have an egg allergy, let your doctor know so that they can observe you for at least 30 minutes after vaccination to ensure that you do not have any reaction to the vaccine. Generally, if the person can eat lightly cooked eggs, it is safe to receive the vaccine. Okay, so you would recommend getting the vaccine then? Definitely. The public often thinks about vaccination as simply preventing one from getting infected. While that is indeed true, there is much greater implication to this. When the majority of the con community are vaccinated, it will prevent any outbreak of the flu and protect the vulnerable population. For instance, seniors over 65 and children under 5 years of age and people with heart conditions are more susceptible to the dangers of the flu virus. People who are also in constant contact with patients, such as nurses and doctors, are all required to be vaccinated too. We need to spread this knowledge so that we all know how vaccines work, so by getting the vaccine, you're not just protecting yourself, but also your loved ones and your community. Okay, great. Thanks for answering all my questions. You're welcome. If you have any other concerns or questions about vaccines, you can check out Health Canada's website or the CDC.